Okay, so I wanted to explain this little <clears throat> kind of a theory I came up with or like a, a visualization thing, thing method. What am I saying? Um, that I thought was pretty cool, but my brain also works like kind of insanely. So I'm not sure if this is actually going to be cool to other people or like, I say that like people are watching this. First of all, no one's watching this, but if they were, I'm not sure if they would think it was cool or if it just sounds like mad scientist talk. Um, minus like the genius part. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I was thinking the other day about how, uh, well, I was just thinking about creation basically. And I have, like I said, I have no idea how I got here. I don't know. My brain works in very strange ways, but, um, I was thinking like, okay, if you kind of, if you have a timeline and it's, it's creation, and I don't mean creation necessarily in like a theological sense. I don't mean it in any kind of, I just mean everything that's been created um, and will be created on a, on a timeline. And say, you know, the future is over here. It's kind of be, gonna be opposite if you're watching this, but um, whatever. The future is on this side and the past of creation is on this side. And it's kind of going like this. So say you have an object in the middle and you, I, I think for my, for my little, uh, visual, visualization, oh my gosh. Um, for my visual, I picked a cup of lemonade because it's kind of easy to like, if you want to do this thought experiment or draw it out or something, it's kind of easy to pick something that you like can kind of know the parts too. So if you pick a cup of lemonade and you, you think, okay, what went into this cup of lemonade? So you have, what, or what are the parts of it? Okay, so you have the cup. Let's say it's plastic. So you draw plastic. You have the lemonade itself. Which, well, let's say it's powder and water. Because um, I'm talking country time. But then you have the ice. Um, or honestly, leave the ice out of it. And we don't even need the ice for this. So let's say you have those three things. <clears throat> um, or those two things. So... Then you would say, so you'd have a cup of lemonade. Then you'd have powder, water, okay? Then you say, okay, what's in the powder? Well, a lot of random crap that's probably terrible for you, but we might have sugar, we might have this stuff, blah, 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 whatever. And then you might have, <clears throat> um, and then you'll say the cup, okay? Plastic, um, it came from a factory. Uh, okay, what's in the factory? Well, people are in the factory, parts of this stuff, uh, materials, tools, whatever. Um, I'm kind of jumping all over the place just based on what I can think of on the top of my head, but you would see what I, you see what I mean where, um, you can trace these things back. Um, okay. Let's say, um, you have the factory, then you have a factory worker. Okay. Well, the fa factory worker has parents. What did the parents, you know, what all did they create? What all did they have in their house that was created? I mean, you see what I mean? Hopefully you can follow, you can trace each thing back to the thing before it, to the things before it. And then on the future end, you would have, um, this is kind of hard. I'm trying to think like what I could use as an example for this. Like, okay. So you have this limit cup of lemonade. Let's say it spills on the hardwood floor. Um, I literally wrote this stuff down, but I can't, cause I was going to use these as examples, but I forgot what they were. But, um, anyway, uh, say it spills on the hardwood floor. And nobody sees it for a while. And it creates a um, warping in the floor. And it eats off the... Uh, <clears throat> it eats off the urethane and stuff. Okay, so that cup of lemonade has now created this stain in the floor. So let's say, you know, they have to fix... These people have to fix their floor. They throw out the old pieces. They get new pieces. Now it's created this new floor. It's kind of, I mean, not necessarily created it, but, you know, it's kind of cause and effect. Um, and then you might have, you know, um, I don't know, the, say the cup gets recycled and it goes into, uh, I don't know, a party decoration. And then the party is, you know, this family that it's their child's first birthday and, it's something like that, like, or, or say like a gender reveal. And then, you know, the, the baby is born and it, you know, it's not necessarily creation that in that example, that's not really the best example, but, um, my point is basically that you can trace 
everything that exists, you can trace it forward and backwards to where um, it began and, and where it will go. And it's kind, it is kind of hard to even wrap your mind around it because it's so expansive and so like, I don't know exactly what a cup, a cup will be, you know what I mean? But the parts of it will be something because nothing on earth is really exactly destroyed. I mean, I, I'm trying to avoid the example of like, okay, it becomes dirt. Like, okay, that's kind of, you know, but I mean, it does make it is true. Things can become dirt. Anyway, so now we have that established. Um, oh, and I brought my little thing because I wanted to show a, the example of how it would be drawn out. This isn't looks insane, but okay. So there's your cup. If you were drawing this out, because I said you could do, like I said, you could do this for anything. If it help, if it would help you think, like understand kind of what I'm saying. Once again, as if anyone's watching this or cares, but anyway, um, you have your cup and then you have, I can't read my own handwriting. Let me school teacher this. Okay. So then you have, um, your powder and water and then you'd have your things that those book, those come from. You'd have your factory, your people. Then you could go off what, you know, the people, they have a whole lineage to follow. The factory has a whole lineage to follow everything in the factory. I'm talking about boards, windows, glue that holds it together, nails, each nail. It's it's really like, ooh, actually, hold on. Let me go to this side, side after this. Um, then I had the, the, whatever I said, what did I say? Stain on the floor. And that would become stuff, uh, whatever, whatever you want to write. So my point in saying all that is that when you're thinking about creation, all of creation on a timeline, at some point, all of creation is going to converge into a single point. Now, this stuff is so out of scale. I mean, so, so on such a big scale that it's kind of impossible for us to grasp. But if you can kind of like do a thought experiment, and let your mind go there. It's really cool to think about. Um, so that would be the past. And then in the future, all of creation would kind of grow and compound on itself. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure if that would be infinity or if that would be, or if that would have an end. I guess it technically would have an end, I think, but I'm not positive on that side. That's like a little bit out of my, where I can grasp mentally. So I'm not sure what that side would be necessarily, but, um, because I don't know how it would make sense for it to be infinity, but it, but it may. It, I don't know if I'm thinking it's infinity because it's just so big that I can't comp like comprehend it or if it actually makes sense. But either way, so you have those two things, the single point of creation, which I also, I think I wrote that down or drew that. Yeah, that's at the beginning. So this is the single point. All of these things are compounded down and then all of these things are expanding. So when, when it says that God is the beginning and the end, and Alpha the Omega, um, the, I, the I am that I am, um, which, you know, existence, he is existence, he is that he is, he is. It's really cool to think about because that means that God is both this and this. He's the single point of which everything came and he's also um, all of creation. Oh my gosh, my dog just scared the crap out of me. Um, he's all of creation expand fully expanded so everything that's made you know it's really cool if you can think about it I think I'm kind of going in circles now I'm just explaining the same thing but it's really cool if you can if you can kind of go there in your mind and what I mean is just like basically when you think about you can use one thing as an example but kind of just think about like think about how many things on the earth there are and how many things went into those things and how many things went into the things before them um yeah it's really cool and that kind of gave me like a part I never really understood what it mean what it meant by God's the beginning and the end like I kind of just always thought that meant like okay well he was there before the earth was here and then he's the end which you know whatever that is later like I never really had like a deeper understanding of that but I, I think that's a pretty good um explanation and visualization there we go um of what that means it's it's on the timeline of creation god's at the beginning and the end of it and he is it at the same time so it's kind of cool um because uh, uh creation is so so big like it's just insane so 
anyway, yeah, I'm kind of repeating myself now, but I just thought that was really cool. So I hope that other people think it's cool too. Um, and that I'm not just a, you know, crazy mad scientist over here, but anyway.